Hey guys, how you doing? Max Powers here again with a follow-up review of the MK808. Um, a lot of people had questions and some support issues, so just going to work those out for you guys. Uh, any more issues or questions, just go ahead and post a comment there. Also, want to tell you about uh, the new forum I opened up actually just today. Uh, it's called minipcforums.com. It's just going to be a centralized forum site where we can discuss issues and uh, offer support. Um, so let's jump into it. I just turned it on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't know why, but the display never um, loads to the right size when it's on my uh, computer monitor. The TV, it's fine. So just got to go to settings, screen, zoom, and go out a click. Okay. So, uh, first question ha someone had was about USB hubs. And uh, good news, I do have a generic USB hub plugged in. Got it off eBay for like three bucks. It's got uh, four ports, and I plug it into the uh, front port on the unit here next to the power, and uh, it works. I've got three different um, peripherals plugged in. They all work simultaneously, and no issues whatsoever, although the Bluetooth dongle uh, still doesn't work. It causes all kinds of problems, so uh, that's an issue. Um, we'll work out some other time. Um, but I do have a uh, air mouse plugged in and a, uh, a regular mouse and also this camera I'm filming this on right now actually um, it is plugged in and if it wasn't filming we'd be able to pull it up in uh, in a file explorer and it'll it'll show it as um, external storage so three USB peripherals out of one port into a hub and it works great so good news a lot of room for expansion there uh, another person asked about playing browser built base flash games uh, like I mentioned before uh, Jelly Bean does not support Adobe Flash. Yeah, it's going away, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we can load an older version of Adobe Flash Player, and I did post a link to it in my other videos, and I'll put one on this one too. And uh, install it, and then it'll work on the stock browser. So let's check that out real quick. It will not work with Dolphin. Don't know why, but um, that's okay. Don't do too much with Flash. Um, it's pretty much only ads coming Flash these days. But uh, someone asked for it, so uh, we'll check it out here. This browser is pretty slow compared to Dolphin browser, but it supports Flash, so um, obviously there's a couple uses for it. And, can't seem to get it to go here. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, moving on, stream HD from a network computer. Someone wanted to be able to see if we could stream, you know, high definition 720 or 1080p film uh, to this device from a network computer or a network attached storage, whatever. And um, yes, it works. Uh, what we need to get here is the ES File Explorer, great file explorer. And uh, you look at your network, if you go up here to local, you change that to your LAN local area network. And here we see the Office PC Home, that is my desktop computer. Click on that and it says getting file list. Sometimes it takes a long time, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work. But just keep trying it, it works. Of course it's not going to work now. There we go. Login failure is going to give you that. It's going to ask for your username and password. Um, I had some trouble with this because I didn't have a password on my uh, Office PC computer. And the only way around this is I had to actually go into user accounts in Windows and add a password to my account. And, um, and then it works here. So the name of my computer is Office. And if we go down to password... Gonna cover this up real quick. Sometimes it takes a couple times. Uh, it worked first time that time. So we go over to users, and uh, here this is a rock of ages. It is a 720p, and uh, if you click it, it says no application available. Long press on it, it will open up. You'll be able to open as a video, and then again, I use the ES Media Player. Just it's a really good media player. So let that stream. 
So what we're doing here is streaming high definition um, from a network computer. And it uh, takes just a little bit to load, but uh, it works surprisingly really well. And uh, this is the first time it's froze, so let's see how it goes here. The first couple times I did it were completely fluid. So. And it is a little jumpy now. Let's see if it works itself out. So we'll just play a little bit of this. And uh, I am pleased to say that this does work. I'm pretty excited about that because I haven't used that this yet. And uh, I will. Good flick here, Rock of Ages. Yeah, I should check it out. And while this is playing, I'm going to bring up another issue someone asked me about. Um, I did work on it a little bit, and I was not able to um, to fix it, but I do have the solution, per se, um, is to use your smartphone as a remote control. Um, there's unified remote, there's G-pad, there's droid mote, and um, it is possible to use those, but we do you do need root access, so you're going to have to root your device. Um, there's a couple tutorials out there on how to do it. I haven't done it yet. I do plan on doing it here in the next couple days, and I will film a video, a how-to video to do it. Uh, I have posted a link to a tutorial, and that's probably the one I'm going to go with. So once you do have root, you can um, install what's called Droid Mote Server. It's an application you can get from the Play Store. It is uh, it's like two and a half bucks, and that enables you to be the server that you can log on with your smartphone and uh, and use it as a remote. So good news, just going to take a little bit of work, and um, we should be able to get around that sooner or later. But as you can see here, this is playing perfect. It did start out a little shaky, but it's it's great. It's in super high quality. It's smooth. Um, the audio is right on track. And uh, it works. So again, we're using uh, the ES file manager to do this. I'll go ahead and stop this. So one thing you are going to have to do is go into, uh, on your main PC into um, your network and make a folder right there where you're going to keep all the, all the movies and music or whatever pictures you want to stream to um, to the mini PC. Um, so other than that, I think I covered most of the questions for today. And if you have any more, you know, just go ahead and leave a comment. Um, I do recommend you guys... Um, Go to minipcforums.com. I know it's a brand new forum. There's barely any posts there at all. I did open it just today, but do me a favor and just register for it and post your question there. I really appreciate it, and I will get the solution to your problem. And that way we can build this forum up, and the more that we use it, the bigger it's going to get, and we will have a centralized place to solve all the problems. A um, little bit of news coming up. Um, I Buddy, I do get some of the devices from to test. Um, he's got good news. There is a quad core uh, mini PC coming out. Can't say much more about that, but uh, I will have my hands on it shortly, and uh, I will do the review. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Although this, this dual core PC is great, it's super fast. It does um, almost everything I want. So other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, give this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. See ya.